History of Stadthole 1972, 2007, and 7. Stadthole ASA was a Norwegian petroleum company established in 1972. It merged with the oil and gas division of Norse Hydro in 2007 and was known as Stadthole Hydro until 2009 when the name was changed back to Stadthole ASA. The brand Stathol was retained as a chain of fuel stations owned by Stathol Hydro. Stathol was the largest petroleum company in the Nordic countries. In the 2013 Fortune 500, Stathol was ranked as the 39th largest company in the world. While Stathol was listed on both the Oslo Stock Exchange and the New York Stock Exchange, the Norwegian state still held majority ownership with 64%. The company's headquarters are located in Norway's oil capital Stavanger. The name Statoil was a truncated form of the state's oil company. Statoil was one of the largest net sellers of crude oil in the world and a major supplier of natural gas to the European continent. Statoil also operated around 2,000 service stations in nine countries. The company's CEO from Midminis 2004 onwards was Helge Lund, formerly CEO of Acre K. Werner. History Early Years Den Norsk Stats Algeselskap, a slashes Norwegian state oil company, was founded as a private limited company owned by the government of Norway on 14 July 1972 by a unanimous act passed by the Storting, the Norwegian Parliament. The political motivation was Norwegian participation in the oil industry on the continental shelf and to build up Norwegian competency within the petroleum industry to establish the foundations of a domestic petroli. Stadhol was required to discuss important issues with the Minister of Industry, later Minister of Petroleum and Energy. Stadhol was also required to submit an annual report to the Parliament. In 1973, the company started work acquiring a presence in the petrochemical industry. This resulted in the development of processing plants in Rafsnes and in partnership with Norsk Hydro, the Mongstad plant in 1980. In 1981, the company acquired, as the first Norwegian company, operator rights on the Norwegian continental shelf on the Gulfax field. 1987-88 saw the largest scandal in the company's history, the Mongstad scandal that made the until then unassailable CEO Arv Johnson withdraw. Privatization The company was privatized and made a public limited company Almenix Jesselskap in 2001, becoming listed on both the Oslo Stock Exchange and the New York Stock Exchange. At the same time it changed its name to Statoil ASA. Merger with Hydro In December 2006 Statoil revealed a proposal to merge with the oil business of Norsk Hydro a Norwegian conglomerate. Under the rules of the EA, the proposal was approved by the European Union on 3 May 2007 and by the Norwegian Parliament on 8 June 2007. Former Statoil's shareholders hold 67.3% of the new company Statoil Hydro, which started operations on 1 October 2007. The company is the biggest of four oil and gas company in the world. In November 2009, Statoil Hydro changed its name to simply Statoil, following a prolonged name debate that sparked considerable public interest. Environmental Record Statoil had three oil spills in Arctic waters near Norway. All the spills occurred from its ocean rig called the Eric Rod. The company was searching for oil in the region which environmentalists were against because they wanted the sensitive area free from pollution. However, the Norwegian government allowed oil exploration as long as there were no emissions. After the merger to Statoil Hydro, in December 2007, 25,000 barrels 4,000 M3 of oil leaked into the North Sea. This was Statoil's second worst oil spill. Two leaks also occurred in February 2008. In March, Statoil dropped about 1.6 tons of pure hydraulic oil in the Barents Sea. Hydraulic oil is said to be the second most hazardous pollutant. Since the leaks, Statoil has stated that the oil has mostly dissolved and there is not much proof of ecological harm. The Norwegian government has not stopped 
the oil drilling in the Arctic waters, and Statoil started up its oil operations in April 2005. Ilona, a Norwegian environmental group, is looking to take legal action. They want the end of oil drilling in the Barents Sea. Controversy and Corruption Rockwall Controversy In 1991, there arose a controversy between Statoil and local environmentalists, mainly from Nature Og Undam and Friends of the Earth Norway, who protested the building of a new research and development center at Rotval in Trondheim, Norway wetlands area close to the city, with significant bird life. The controversy was climaxed with civil disobedience by the environmentalists, but the center was still built. Statoil Corruption Case the Statoil corruption case refers to the company's misconduct and use of corruption in Iran in 2002-2003 in an attempt to secure lucrative oil contracts in that country. This was mainly achieved by hiring the services of Horton Investments, an Iranian consultancy firm owned by Mehdi Hashimi Rafsanjani, son of former Iranian President Hashimi Rafsanjani. Horton Investments was paid U.S. $15, two cents million by Statoil to influence important political figures in Iran to grant oil contracts to Statoil. The corruption scandal was uncovered by Norwegian paper Dagens Neringsliv on 3 September 2003. Corrib Gas Project Statoil was a partner of Royal Dutch Hell and the Corrib Gas Project, which entails developing a natural gas field off the west of Ireland. The project has proved controversial. In the summer of 2005, five men from County Mayo were jailed for contempt of court after refusing to obey a temporary court injunction forbidding them to interfere with work being undertaken on their land. The ensuing protests led to the Shell to Sea campaign that opposes the project. 